We're following several new developments this morning in the death of Prince. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Minneapolis tells NBC News they're joining the investigation into his death. We're also learning new details about the hours leading up to Prince's death. Blake McCoy joins us from Minnesota. Blake, good morning. What are the very latest details? Well, Jose, good morning to you. It's been exactly uh, two weeks now since Prince was found dead here at his Paisley Park estate, and we're learning that in those hours before, there was a life-saving mission to save him. An attorney representing someone named Dr. Howard Kornfeld, an addiction specialist from California, says Dr. Kornfeld uh, was reached out to just the night before Prince died by Prince's representative, saying he needed emergency help and asking the doctor to come immediately. Dr. Kornfeld, who works in the San Francisco Bay Area, couldn't make it out here right away. So we sent his son Andrew instead. And the plan was to devise a confidential treatment program for Prince. According to the attorney, this is what happened when Andrew Kornfeld arrived here to Paisley Park. When he arrived, uh, Prince was not available. Uh, they went looking for Prince, uh, couldn't initially find him. They saw the Staff representatives uh, apparently found him in an elevator unconscious. Andrew did have synthetic opiates on him at the time. That is confirmed by his attorney, but the attorney insists that Andrew never give Prince any, gave Prince anything. Those synthetic opiates, according to the attorney, are used to wean people off of prescription painkiller uh, addictions. Since Andrew was part of the team that found Prince, though, and called 911, he is protected under Minnesota's Good Samaritan law. All of this uh, seems counter to what the people closest to Prince and Prince's attorney have said, which is that Prince was leading a clean lifestyle, showed no signs of drug addiction, but all signs right now are pointing to a prescription painkiller addiction. Of course, it'll be those toxicology results that come back uh, over the next few weeks that will confirm that story. Uh, in the meantime, the U.S. attorney here in Minneapolis and the DEA have joined in the investigation to lend local authorities their expertise when it comes to investigating uh, prescription painkillers. Jose?